I'm sorry, you actually cannot force this out. Actually, I can. You see the sign over here? I refuse the right to refuse. Oh, you don't have the right to refuse that. We're going to call the police on you. Hold on a second. Call them right now. Yeah, call them, please. Please do. Private businesses that provide goods or services to the public are called public accommodations in the ADA. And under that, in the ADA, that means that you are not allowed to kick people out for disability. Any person who has trouble breathing? Can I ask a question here? Okay. We're not harassing you. We're trying to shop in this. <laughs> I'll be honest, guys. I don't know too much about laws, so I'm not going to stand here and be like, she was right. She was wrong. She... I genuinely don't know because I don't take the time to look up these laws. What I will say is I think a business has the right to refuse your business for whatever reason they want. This woman can make the case of like, I don't want two people in my store. It's a new rule I want in my store and I don't want that. Like you don't need to make a law for that. She could just decide that on the spot that she that's something she wants to implement in her business. If you don't want to wear a mask, don't. Just don't go to stores that want you to wear masks. Because there are stores that don't care if you don't wear masks. And that's fine too. Just like, I don't know. Unmask people. Yeah, how about you? To shop churches. Okay. I know why you guys are here. We're here to shop. Absolutely. Yeah. Totally understand. Peacefully that. shop. Totally just, you know, fine. Household no, groceries. No problem if you guys want to shop. No problem if you guys just want to grab your groceries. Don't want to tell you guys what to think, what to do, what to believe, anything like that. Yeah, we honor that. I just, I would ask kindly that you guys understand here at TJ's and what we're doing, we're just trying to work, make a living. Uh, hey, I get it. The difference Absolutely. you guys are trying to make isn't going to be made with us. Again, very valid point. Like, I used to work at Starbucks and people would always come in like, why'd you guys raise the prices? And I was like, listen, if I knew why they raised the prices and I'm still making 12 50 an hour, I would tell you, but I don't know because I don't make those decisions. And they, you know, they would sell the employees on like, the harder you work, the more money the store makes, the more hours you'll get. But guess what? That never happened. Like, do you think that people working at Walmart on the floor are the ones that make that decision? So just keep that in mind when you give them a hard time and you make their day, you know, their job much harder than it needs to be. I I don't even know. <laughs> I do not like the aggression. There's so much aggression in this video, guys, and I think when having these, I don't even consider them political debates or arguments. When just in general, when having these conversations, you always gotta understand it from both perspectives. I wear masks, because from my perspective, it's like, you, you know, they say you wear a mask, it'll help people, protect people. That's from my perspective. From other people's perspective, it doesn't do anything. And rather than just say, you're wrong, it's like, try to have an understanding of why they think that way. And then you can have a conversation and then maybe change their way of thinking. Yelling and violence and arguing doesn't do anything. Conversation leads to change. That's all I'm saying. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Jared Bronstein. Make sure you smash that like button for me, baby. You wanna know why? Cause I'm wearing an Eagle shirt. We love the Eagles around here. Smash that like button. But if you're from Dallas, ah, you can smash that like button anyways. Cause you guys know the Eagles are a better team. Let's get into it. And you're personally, you're personally liable. Okay, so we're at this check stand. What is your name? What is your name? Amber, are you the manager here at Grocery Outlet? Amber, are you the manager? All right, so they, they're they closing the check stand, so you're not gonna cash me out, right? You're not supposed to because it's okay. mandatory that you have to wear it. It isn't mand it's not a law, and I have the right to commerce uh, under Oregon statute. So I'm giving you $3.75, which covers the two items that I have. I'm gonna say that argument and conversation of I'm calling the cops, this isn't the law, that back and forth not only spreads more germs across the whole store because they're not wearing a mask, but they'd be in there longer. This is a business to refuse to serve people who are not willing to abide by our health. And who told you that? My boss. And your boss, is is your boss with the Wisconsin State Assembly or in the government? No, they are not, but as a private business, we have the right to conduct ourselves as a way. Well, I have a... I have a lung condition, so I'd like to purchase these and then I will leave. I understand that. Can you pull your mask up on your nose, please? Pull well, your mask up. Do not pull your mask down at me. I will call the police. I don't know what you think you're going to do. We are doing what every business near us is doing. We're doing the best we can. Again, like this whole back and forth, this whole argument, like why? And if I was in the woman filming's position, I wouldn't go out of my way to argue and spend more time trying to get what I, like just order on Amazon. It's probably cheaper. If you're an anti-masker and all the local businesses want you to wear masks, then buy off Amazon. 
No one gets hurt. There's no argument. You're not supporting businesses that make you wear masks. Everybody wins. Attention, COVID is a big pandemic. COVID is a big pandemic. You guys gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Ladies and gentlemen, COVID is a big pandemic. You control us. Just give us like 45 seconds, bro. Just give us like 30 seconds. It is, everywhere's the place. We gotta stop this, guys. You gotta go. You gotta go, man. You gotta go. Again, like a situation like this. I mean, look, maybe these people just have the time on their hands to go to a store and do this. To me, people see this and they just, they resent people that are anti-mask or don't wanna wear masks. And it's like, again, do you guys not have anything better to do? Like, go home and watch Eagles highlights or see who they're drafting. I know today they just, oh, don't even get me started. They just traded down the draft pick, which I could go on for a while about. You don't Mark, have a right to be in here. The, the sheriff literally is going to come here and you're gonna get in trouble for doing this. Physical harassment. Yes, I talk to them every the single time. I talk to them too. I talk to the health department. Yes. Get a shield the up there. COVID enforcer, JC. Get, get the hell out of here. No, that's not, not going to happen. I don't always have the time to go somewhere else. Get, put a mask on. I will out. not. I have a health exemption. December 3rd. Oh my you God. are to Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Again. Regardless of what side you're on, as a business owner, do you want this woman shopping and supporting your store? Probably not. As the shopper, do you want to support this business where the man's yelling at you, telling you to shut up? Probably not. So just don't. <laughs> like, I, I don't understand why it's so hard for everyone to see this, and I'm like, just don't. Like, if you don't want to do it, just don't do it. Like, just let's have two separate areas where it's like all the anti-maskers are there. Bring out your day. And the maskers are there, and we just see what happens. Mayo, Mayo, this is Sunday. I need you to calm down over burger. Give me my phone! Mayo, I need you to calm down. Call the goddamn police! Call the goddamn police! Have a good day. Have a blessed day and never come back to my house. I don't have to! Have a good day. God bless you! God bless you! Jesus, get the out of my store. Have a good day! Bye bye! Bye bye. Have a good day. I mean, I'm gonna. I mean, I don't know if this is like pre-COVID or not, because no one's wearing masks. Why are you getting so mad? What? Wait, again. I, only. It's only. Burger. Why you have to be mad? It's going back to the same theme of like, just leave it alone. The world's in a crazy place right now. Let's not get so angry with each other over nothing. That's it. It's offensive because I'm saying COVID is a con. Yes, I find it offensive. I'd ask you to step back from me, please. So because you're offended, you're not letting me shop. No, I'm not letting you shop today, sir. I'd like you to leave the store now, please. Can I just finish what I'm getting? No, I'd like you to leave the store. Uh, you'll be hearing from my solicitor and you'll okay. be hearing from my radio station as thank, well. Thank you very much. What's your name, please? My name's Mike. Right, so you're a Tesco manager yes, and you're throwing me out of the store yes. for wearing a mask that I'm required to wear. Yes. So, I'm wearing this mask yes. <laughs> and I'm not allowed to shop in Tesco. No, you're not allowed. I'm going to just ask you to step to one side. I was a little confused at first. I'm like, what's the problem? He's wearing a mask. And then I realized, obviously, that's the mask that he's wearing. I think by now, if a business says wear a mask, you go in not wearing a mask, you kind of know there's going to be some sort of confrontation. So why go in at all? That's, that's more what I'm getting at is like, why? Why put either party through that is, is kind of where I'm at. All right, so you need to wear a mask. If you don't, you need to leave our store. I've asked you many times, politely, you need to leave our store. So I have a medical exemption with the doctor. Right, doctor's but I am note. told that nobody gets a medical exemption in our store. That is what I am okay, told. Okay, Alberta government, my job. Alberta I government my job, offers yes. an exemption for you, those who have a medical exemption. You people like me make our job very difficult. I just I'm a 17 to buy year old some girl. Food. I'm a 17 year old girl, and I'm asking you, a grown woman, to wear a mask. Put it on or leave. Are you my doctor? No, but I'm telling you to put my it on or leave. My doctor has told me not put to. Put it on or leave. No. Then you need to go. No. You're on the phone with the cops right now, and, and you will wait as for them you to know, pick you up. Again, like, <laughs> why bother the 17 year old? I understand you want to prove a point, but again, what's a 17 year old working at the store going to do? More or less, where I'm coming from is like. If you disagree with anything I'm saying right now, rather than attack me, be like, you're, you're an idiot, or you're this, you're the problem. Let's just, let's just have a conversation. I just wanna know your thoughts. That's all I'm asking for. In this situation, that woman that refused to wear the mask, it's like they're calling the cops. Let's say you don't get arrested. Let's say it's not breaking the law, but for whatever reason, it ends with the cops just removing you from the store, being like, don't shop here, and everyone go their own way. All that time, 
you're never gonna get it back. Money you can make back, but time, that's like literally the one thing that you- Where do you live? I live in Hernando County. Then you can take your fanny back up to- No, place. I don't have to. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, snap? I mean, I'm surprised this woman gave her whole address. I'm guessing she did that because she lives in a good neighborhood. Like, who who else would be like, oh, I live here, 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 and here. My address is this, my postal code is this, send me a letter. Like, nobody does that. Good on the, the, the Pandora worker being like, yeah, you can you can go home. Like, I don't need your, your negative energy in here. Thank you for standing up for yourself. Don't take no ish from anybody. Wait a while. Is he throwing fries? Clean him up! Get out now! I said clean it up! Get out! Clean yeah. down! Get out! Clean out! You're dead. You're done. Up. Yeah, 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 go out! Bien, no te acerques! Bien, go out! And you have no idea what you're doing. The absolute disrespect. I don't know why he was mad, but the first thing that came into my head was probably the ice cream machine store thing. Like, it, is anybody else thinking that? Like, you have literally no reason to be throwing a temper tantrum like this unless you can't get an ice cream cone. But this guy is really just throwing food everywhere and being like, clean it up. Like, sir, they gave you napkins for a reason. Didn't your mother teach you better? My goodness, were you raised in a barn? You just cussed the whole thing around. Girl, you don't know what's out here, so stop lying. Is that how you talk to a 16 year old? Is it really? Is it really? How old are you? Does she talk to you like that? <laughs> don't address my daughter. Don't address my daughter. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. The cinematography in here is amazing. Chef's kiss. Also, I'm calling the police because they don't have nacho cheese. Are you kidding me? You just cussed the whole thing. Girl, you don't know what I'm here, so stop <laughs> Like, is that, is that really the worst thing that could ever happen to you? There are real issues in the world. Nacho cheese is not one of them. There are plenty of other Taco Bells that you can go to. Karen's. We, we gotta study their brains or something. I, there's something going on that I just don't quite understand. What's going on, friends? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I'm your host, Brie Room. I'm really excited to dive back into some of these awesome Karen videos. These baffle my brain every time because I just don't understand what goes on in Karen's head. So uh, without further ado, let's get anyway. You dumbass f I'm a dumbass f Yeah. Yeah, f you. You. You're the one who treats people like f ass people. You treat f ass. You. Yeah, f you. F you. Shouldn't treat handicapped people. Right, get the people f out of my store. Shouldn't treat get the f out of my store. Stupid. Like oh, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. There is so much to address in this video. A, why does she look like Tinky Winky? There's too much purple on this woman. I'm sorry but you need to choose a different color. It's just, there's too much. Second of all, <laughs> you're saying you can't be mean to handicapped people. I mean, I don't want to sound ignorant by just being like, I don't see how you're handicapped by just looking at you, but like, I feel like it's just a very Karen thing to be like, oh, I'm handicapped. You can't be, you know, but, but sometimes that handicap doesn't hold up and sometimes they're just lying. So I don't know what to believe. Okay, so you are denying us business based on our mass yeah, perception. We already told correct? you that we were willing that to work with you. Oh, no, 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 no. What are these? You're not willing to work with me. I have quit yeah. at 1230. Right, and you didn't inform anybody here on the phone. Well, I don't have, have to inform you. Okay. Okay. Look, you don't you want to work with us, then there's, a, there's, a, there's other places that you're right. You well. just lost your, your business. Okay. Thank you. And I will continue to post this on social media to let everybody know. Absolutely. Thank you. No problem. I'm going to continue posting this on social media so everybody knows. Little did she know, someone was filming her and then spread it across the internet. Oh, how, how the turntables. Turn also, I just love how this guy just leaning on the chair like, yeah, no, you can go. Nobody's gonna stop you. I mean, you broke the rules. You decided to do this. You can just leave. Like, thank you. Thank you. This is the kind of attitude we need. You can't just let Karen bully you. You gotta bully them back. And and what you bringing a cigarette is he into? Who's smoking? Yeah, like you have cigarettes right you here. Cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. So, please, get me along. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah. Excuse me. 
Go ahead, yeah, exactly. Please. You're being extremely hostile right now. Yeah, that is why. Somebody just closed the door on her. Like, you're trying to get her out, but, like, you're, you're not kicking her out. Kick her out. Kick her out. If you don't want her in her in your store, smoking, or whatever she was doing, kick her out. You know, let go of all that negative energy. And then you gotta sage the place, all right? Because, you know, Karens, they're like ghosts. You know, you gotta get rid of their spirits. You gotta sage every corner of the house, do a little prayer, get some shamans in there, and just really just get that negative energy out because it creates a force field, right? I'm, you know, this is all just going in my brain right now. You, you're telling me I lost the money. Yeah. I'm telling you, you spent your money on an icy that you have in front of you, uh -huh. and you didn't like the taste of it. So you're it's acting like it's a four year old It's actually kind of water. Mall, in the center of the mall here, you're acting like a four year old. You pulled out your phone, and you're trying to, I don't know what you're trying to do. You're trying to be aggressive, passive aggressive, Not get at another all. free drink. Okay. Nobody gives a f that you don't like your blue icy, that you paid 436 for, like, what? That's your f***ing problem, man. You shouldn't have bought the icy if you didn't like the icy. It's an icy. They're all the same everywhere you go. That's your problem. Don't buy another one. You learned your lesson. We all make mistakes. <laughs> I don't make mistakes. I love this. Like, sucks to suck, dude. You bought the icy and now you don't like it. Like, that's not my problem, that's your problem. The energy in this video is just so immaculate. I need everybody to be like this. I need everybody to stand up for themselves being like, sucks to suck, dude. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, this guy really tried to return an icy. It's literally frozen water and juice, essentially. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Right off the bat. Okay, okay, someone needs to validate my my thought process here. Doesn't this video give off the same energy as that vine that was like, can I please get a waffle? Can I get a waffle? Can I please get a waffle? Like the fighting and the, the waffle, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? This gives off that exact same energy. And I'm pretty sure this is why the ice cream machines never work at McDonald's. This just looks like a different angle from the last video. Just throwing things. Is that a cash register that they're throwing? Correct me if I'm wrong, but like, that's the definition of uh, throwing bills, you know what I mean? <laughs> they're really making it rain on the cashier and breaking the place at the same time. <laughs> First of all, I feel really bad for the editor that has to bleep all of this out. I'm so sorry. I'm praying for you. I really am. Also, I'm pretty sure this is like the, the sandwich thing that everybody was talking about like months ago. You know, like the Popeye's chicken sandwich and everybody's getting into fist fights over it. I think this is that. And I don't understand why. I tried the sandwich. It's not that good. It's not good enough to fight people over. Uh, oh, I saw that throw coming. I saw it. I saw the thought process, him, him winding up, you know, in a tight spiral on that thing. Why is it always at fast food restaurants too? Like these guys are working so hard, especially during this pandemic. So just cut them a little bit of slack. Don't throw things at them. Don't throw their cash registers because that's how they get paid. Don't break the ice cream machine because we all want ice cream right now. Like guys, take a breather. Chill out a little bit. Take a vitamin. You'll be fine. You can't do my job. <laughs> well, do it. I'm, I'm a customer. I'm I pay your salary. salary. You didn't pay my salary. Can't move out of here. If you want some trouble, we're gonna have some trouble. That's what you want. That's what you called me out of here for. You no. You're the guy that got to break bread with me. No, I didn't break bread with you. Oh, yes, you're. Right. I'm a customer. Treat me right. Get your <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess you're that's what you got. You got a face. That's what you got. That's what I got. That's what you got. Do something about it. You do it. No, you do. You take a swing at me. You don't want to call me out. 
This is just giving me so much life right now. I love the absolute pure tension in this video. Like they're just, they're this close to each other and they're just yelling in each other's face, waiting for somebody to throw a punch, but I know both of them are scared to do it. And the Oscar for the worst sh talk ever goes to this is supposed to be something like that. She threw the money in the, you know, the table. Supposed to be skipping the hand. I give her money in the hand. Okay. Yeah, but he told the me to shut up. She even played the Mexican. Go to hell. She threw the money on the, the table. Yeah, I apologize. Suppo supposed to be like this? See, look. See that? See that? See that? You see that? See that? See that? That what you just speaking? You need a job? Get out of here, okay? Okay, all right. That was kind of disrespectful. Just throwing the money on the counter and like, well, he was rude to me. That doesn't mean you have to be disrespectful. Guys, we gotta do better. As a society, we have to be more respectful. But I will say, I think everyone in that video was wearing a mask. So I think, you know, we're stepping up a bit, you know? <laughs> just slightly. But you know, we definitely need to work on our respect. Especially during these times. Be better. You have a wonderful day. Are you the manager? Yes, I am. Okay, so you are the manager. Yes, I am. You are Daryl? My name, ma'am, you see my, I told you my name was Daryl. You saw my, okay. I didn't now, ask your name, sir. Let me, let me go back. We are not giving you a refund because you have been here for five hours in this room. You have up to, you have 30 minutes to um, change your mind. Okay. You have already Does been that count when the cops come? The cops, you to leave the, it's dangerous? No, the cops are here because someone, they were chasing someone. They parked their car here. Okay. And they are not even staying here. Okay, Daryl. So, now, you, you, have, a have, a nice, you have a nice, you have a nice, you have a nice night. I'm not, ma'am, so you know, I'm not arguing. You, got I'm not you, you have, have a nice dollars, night, sweetheart. You have a Cat nice night. Tell her, have a nice night, Karen. Go back to your room. I can't, I can't believe she tried to get a refund for her room because the police were, like, if the police aren't after you, why do you care? Just, you know, mind your business. Like, that is so unnecessary. And like, oh, are you the manager? You just gotta make sure it's the manager. Like, okay, we all know that Karen's like, have a fetish for managers or something, but like, you gotta bring it down a notch. Just calm it down. Like, I don't understand these people. I really don't. The more I watch these Karen videos, the more I'm like, okay, we need to just like, clear the table or just, you know, leave all the Karens on earth and everybody just, Go to the moon or something. Just leave them. Fight to the death or something. Hunger Games style. Just get rid of them. Grown. You're a grown lady. Why are you grown? Don't you ever swear me. These kids don't swear me. Bro, I'm not a child. You're not gonna take I am your not a child. I don't know what you I don't care, sir. You can go as well. Hold on, I'm gonna call as well. Where's your manager? Get your own duty manager on the phone. Uh, yeah, you do that. I'll call him too. You get your own duty manager on the phone. Oh. You come at me. Oh, no, I didn't. I asked you why you got a child standing here at this thing. I don't know she's a child. Oh my god. Oh, the back and forth always just gets me every time. Call the manager. It wasn't exactly clear as to why they were so upset and why they needed the manager, but there was a lot of back and forth yelling. Like, I feel like in times like these where there's some kind of altercation, if people just didn't yell, you would resolve the situation so much faster. Getting somebody to call their manager and screaming at them isn't gonna make anything better any faster. You're just wasting your own time at that point. Like, just listen to the person. What is going on friends? Welcome back to the channel. We are back at it again, reacting to some Karen videos. I guess this is really the only theme that I watch on this channel, but honestly, I'm okay with it because I get to call all these Karens out. I'm not taking any of their BS, not today. No hate, no negative vibes, all right? I'm here to just clear the air. I am your human sage, all right? I'm reacting to these videos and de-escalating the situation. Everything's gonna be chill. Let's get into it. Come on around right here and Come on around right here and Come on around right here and say Come on around right here and say with your six my friends. Come around right here and say Jasmine. Come around right here and say You came in a restaurant. Come around here and say Come over here and you 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 say You do what you need to do. Come over here and you say You do what you need to do. If you really was wrong, you do with a jump. Cause I'm right here. No. Oh my god, the tension, the tension in this this video is just like I really thought as soon as she walked from behind that counter, they were going to get into a fist fight or something. I'm glad they didn't, but like I felt like at any second somebody was gonna throw that punch. 
but it also feels like it's again one of those kind of videos that like they're both waiting for somebody to react because neither of them really want to do anything you know what i mean like it's very cowardly almost i don't know guys if you're not gonna do anything just just leave what's your name i'll come and spell it out for you if you want no how about you spell it out now uh I, i'm what i'm saying man is i'll come out there and tell you to your face okay what is your name sir my name is get out of my f***ing drive through that's my name <laughs> that's an interesting sir name. i was asking what time you open i told you in 10 minutes did you not hear me well i mean we would wait for 10 minutes that's cool but and i told you you could do that so then what's the issue just wait i really don't understand why they're so mad but also like the, the the name thing, like that was a good clap back. That was a very good clap back. Didn't really need so many, you know, bad words. You know, let's keep this a little more PG. But like that was a, I applaud you. That was a good clap back. I'm hey, recording hey. you. Oh no. Good. I'm glad you're being recorded too. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Look at you. Cause we want our food and our money. Now we've asked you to leave. Where's our money then? Where's our money? We're waiting for food. We haven't misbehaved. Listen to you. You're bipolar, mate. You're bipolar, mate. Oh my goodness. I wish there was more backstory to these videos so I could really, like, you know, get into the situation. But, like, geez, I don't know what else to say. You know, you're both yelling at each other, but nothing's happening. You know, if you're gonna kick them out, give them their money back, and send them on their way. Like, the fighting is just really not necessary. This man really said, cash me outside. <laughs> he really pulled a bad baby, cash me outside, how about that? Oh my god, all of this because he touched the phone? Guys, deep breaths, just, you know, you'll be, you'll be fine. You don't need to cash people outside, how about that? <laughs> my thumb is big, bigger than the piece of chicken. And the guy's telling me that that's an acceptable piece of chicken. Uh, mate, I can film. I'm in the public place. I can film all I want. Yeah, I am. Can I have my money back, please, mate? Thank you, mate. You're taking a very long time to get my money back for someone who's given out a piece of chicken the size of a thumb. <laughs> There's my thumb. My thumb's bigger than the chicken, bro. Yeah? Is that funny? It is kind of funny, yeah? And you're a manager at KFC, yeah? What's your name, buddy? Oh, you ain't got a manager's thingy on. You're that much of a scruff. Oh my god, this man really said size matters. <laughs> it's not about the size, it's about the flavor. The 11 herbs and spices speak for themselves. <laughs> what was that? You said don't touch him. Don't touch nothing? I, I just don't allow the kids to, you know, stray away from parents so that they won't, you know. Okay, so it's right there with me. So, I mean. I, I look, I, as a parent, I, I wouldn't, I don't like it as much as the next person, but as my story, you know, I, I just, you know, like to keep things, you know, Kind of cleaning me, ma'am. I, I was just being nice. You were being nice. I wasn't being ugly. Either. You were being ugly. Have a good night, man. You were being ugly. I'm buying that. No, no, I'm not even so to you. I don't have, as a store manager, I don't have to sell to you. Okay, then what's your corporate number? Uh, it's one of the shop CBS. She's asking for corporate. Oh my God. That was so unnecessary. He was just being like, hey, can you just keep an eye on your spawn for a second? And she's He's like, like, no. Look at, you birthed this thing. Just keep an eye on it. Don't let it run wild and everything will be fine. <laughs> He's like, now nah, you can just leave. Bye. Even when you called the cops, I wasn't cops here. told you, you're not allowed in here. I'm Ow. just standing here. I wasn't here. I'm just saying, I'm doing what I was told. I can't. You can't. That's it. Out. If not, I'm going to call the cops for trespassing. Out. Do you want me to do that? I can do it right now. And you call for trespassing. Out of my store. Now. I am not doing anything. I don't. I, that's not my problem. I was told that you're not allowed in here. Call the cops. The cops you are ready to be executed. Out. Now. I'm a loyal customer. <laughs> the ending. Just. I am a loyal, loyal customer. customer. Obviously you're not that loyal since they're kicking you out. And they're, they're saying that you're not allowed to be in there. I don't know what you did. I don't know what the situation is, but maybe you should just listen because now the cops are coming. 
Why is your mask you falling? That's exactly what you're yelling because at me I'm for. Because I'm having to continue to talk to you in a dress that you are not even wearing your handmade mask properly, ma'am. That's yeah. handmade okay. as well. No, ma'am. This is a 32 degree mask that we sell and you can get it at any local Okay, place. well, why are you harassing me? Ma'am, trust me. I'm not harassing you. You are. And you're not six feet that apart that from me. Yes, ma'am. I am about no, six feet at this we're point. we're not. Yes, ma'am. Your mask is down again, young lady. So you is yours. No, ma'am. It's not. So is yours. all the way over my nostril. My goodness. The mask debate. It's never going to get old. I mean, guys, it's not that hard. You put it on your face, covers your nose, all the way to your chin. You can go about your merry old day. Like, just comply with the rules and don't yell at people. Be like, well, yours isn't right either. But we're not talking about, we're talking about you here. We're making this about you, okay? Don't cause a scene. We're in a pandemic, all right? Things are hard enough. It's a gross lunch. And she frankly, wants yeah, water. if I want to go to a nail spot, I want them to talk English to where they can she understand does? when I need a dog top coat. Alright. Okay, so she's being racist. That's hard, isn't it? Oh, no. That's like learning your ABC. Oh, no problem. We, we accept it. Thank you very much for your advice. No problem. Thank you very much. Beautiful lady. <laughs> Beautiful lady. Thank you. Oh my god, this woman really had the nerve to come in and tell them to speak English and learn their ABCs. Baby, you came into that establishment yourself. You walked your own legs, your own body into the store. You sat down, you made the decision to get your services from this establishment. You have no right to be talking about the people's language or make comments like that. They're getting paid like bare minimum money to do that job and they're dealing with way more than they have to on a daily basis. Do you guys genuinely have a problem? Take it up with like the CEO or, or the assistant manager general, like go really above. Cause like these situations are just way above the employee's pay grade. And I promise you, they don't even care. It just seems like a lot of people are deciding to almost have confrontations, which is why, you know, we're in the situation that we're in. Like, let's just not, let's just lead with love, lead with peace. Why are we getting so aggressive with each other, folks? Come on. I would give you a hug, but you know, gotta keep my distance. It's like those, those schoolyard fights. Like everybody gr gathers around and they're waiting for this fight that everybody's been talking about and they're just yelling at each other and nobody wants to take that first punch. So they're just gonna keep yelling at each other. Like it's just never gonna happen. I'm pretty sure they're still there to this day. They're still yelling at each other, waiting to start this fight. It's just never gonna happen. I don't condone bullying, but sometimes when there's a Karen and they're really getting at you, you just gotta give them a little wee taste of their own medicine. Cause that's kind of the only way they learn. So I've been told. And, and also they're just back and forth like F you, F you, F you, F you. Do you know any other words? I mean, there's a billion other curse words that you could use or you could just talk to each other like normal human beings. I don't know what to, to mm. Karen's. <laughs> every weekend buying their bulk like guacamole or something and being like well i don't have to wear a mask like okay we get it you have a premium costco card but you also have to wear a mask like that i don't make the rules you can afford to get your thousand pounds of guacamole doesn't mean that you can't get covid too siri and the woman being like oh beautiful lady like yes give her that compliment because obviously something's going on in her life that is just making her a little sour you know